thank you for tuning in to Talking with Caramel. I'm your host, Caramel, and I have Shanita here with NTM Group. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Let me know what NTM means. Like what it stands for. It stands for Naturally Talented Management Group. Okay. And um, basically, you do models and all that stuff, right? Models, artists, and everything like that. And so, in turn of that, um, you know, the show is basically about relationships. You yes. know, um, being single, married, divorced, or, you know, I'm single with kids and everything like that. So I'm pretty sure that you have friends that's single and, and friends that's married, correct? I do. Okay. And I know that um, in, the, in, in, the, in the world, as we say, right, that um, some married people act as they are single, correct? They do. How do you feel about that? Like, when you see a, a married person, um, a person that... Let's say their spouse love them very much, they care for them and do anything for them, but they're out there in the field doing whatever they want to do. I mean, do you how do you feel about that? Okay, so what you're saying is the spouse that does anything for the other spouse right. is out there doing what they want to do. Yes. I don't consider that love. So you consider it as what? What what do you consider it as? Maybe a convenience. People have their own reasons in relationships, why they're there. Right. And why they do what they want to do. Do you believe that when a person say like "I love you," do you think they actually mean that sometimes? Sometimes. So basically, it's about the actions exactly. than the word, correct? Exactly. Yeah. Action speaks louder than words. That's what you know. What that's what they all say, right? <laughs> um, I know that sometimes, like um, I don't know if you know anybody that's single with kids and is struggling with their kids or whatever, and the father don't want to be a part of the kid's life. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a friend like or someone like that, how do you, you know, tell them that everything's gonna be okay? Because you know they're dealing with so much. They have to deal with the job. They have to deal with the kids. And if they go into school, you know, that's a lot they have to deal with as well. So, what's the best advice that you think that you can give that person? Well, basically, I wouldn't give too much advice. I would just comfort them. Mm -hmm. um, let them know that. You know, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you have to be a mother. You have right. those kids to take care of, and you can't force them to be a father. So your main That's focus true. should be yourself and your kids. And that is true. I mean, I don't know if you've been looking at the news, um, how um, people are having kids, and then all of a sudden, you know, the kids, they, they don't want to be mothers anymore. You know, um, in my point of view, I feel that if you don't want to be a mother, you should never lay down and have kids, period. You know, but what is your point of view of that? Like, I agree. I mean, but a lot of times people do things and they don't think about the consequences. So if they're having unprotected sex, you're not sitting there thinking, I'm going to get pregnant. Right. So when they end up pregnant, they may not have the resources to take care of it or do what they need to do. And then they're basically stuck. Right. So, right. you know, some of them take on the role as, I'm going to take care of my child. I'm going to be a mother. And others say, I don't want the kid. So right. Like the grandparents. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. And you know what? Why you saying that? I actually seen a, um, on, uh, on the news that it was a, a girl that she got upset with her child because her child accidentally made an um, incident in her pamper. And she didn't want the baby anymore after that. So, for people like that, I feel like, like I said, I, I, I truly feel if you can't handle the whole situation of being a parent, don't be a parent. You know, don't lay down and have kids. Don't think that you're going to keep a man. Most people have kids to keep a man. I agree. You know, having kids is not going to have a man stay there with you. As it's not going to happen. And you, you know, know what? What's good that when they do make that choice mm -hmm. to give the child to the grandparent, yes. it's better for the child sometimes. Yeah. So that is that is, that is definitely you know they don't want to keep the child and then don't provide for the child or even abuse the child. Right. And there's a lot of because that going angry. on right now. A lot of abuse to to kids because they don't like the way the kids sneeze or don't like the way the kids walk or don't like the way the kids you know it's just so much look, look there you go it's just so much things going on and i just can't you know express like don't have kids if you can't raise them on your own 
or raise them with someone that really cared, you know, for the child because kids need that extra love. I you know. Agree. And my main thing is kids are innocent. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know. They came in this world clueless, and that you have to teach them how to become that man or woman that they should be. Right. I agree. Um, also, top that you know, um, I know you read my book. Yes, yes. you was one of the first person that I did. Yes, you was the one. Of, like, yeah, you was the first person that got this book. Oh God. I'm special. And, yeah, you are. <laughs> and um, basically, um, you know, this book is basically about relationships you know um, you know we did a little movie trailer of this book and actually she was one of the main characters of it she was Keisha playing as Keisha and um, you know you did very well thank you very much for that one and you know for example one of the characters Liz she's going through a lot of you know situations with her husband um, she, she she you know her whole life was basically around her family you know, and her husband is out there doing all kinds of sort of things and, you know, women over here, women over there, and she still, her ground is be a wife, take care of the kids, and that's all she's living for, you and know. she's unhappy. And she's unhappy. So, on that note, living for a man and for your kids, how do you, I mean, what do you think, like, think about that? It's not something I could do. We we all have our own life. We only have one. Right. So to live in it and not to be happy, mm -hmm. it's just not right. And I and I agree. But some women feel that you know when they have that low self esteem, it's such as Liz in my exactly. book. You know, they don't know how to build that. You know, they're they don't know how to build that esteem that they need. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because they've been put down so long, you know? I've, I've had a friend like that, and, you know, it's just different situations, you know? She, like Liz, you see what Liz ended up doing. Right. Finding another man. Right. A younger man. Right. That made her happy, you know? I mean, she could get rid of that no good husband mm -hmm. that doesn't want to be a husband or a father. Right. You know, it's choices. Right. You're in control of your own happiness. And that is true. And speaking of kids, um, his oldest son um, couldn't stand his father for what he was exactly. doing to his mother. Mm -hmm. And kids go off of what, how you raise them and what they see. They does they, they, It's another thing they can go off of. They do. You know. Um, but I thank you, Shanita, for being here with me and talking to me about you know my book, in love with the other man, and you know just your opinions on the situation of relationships period and I want you before we go to let everybody know where they can find you or where they can book you or however so you can just let everybody know you know okay um, my Instagram is at NTM group my Facebook is naturally talented management group my Twitter is NTM GRP short for NTM group um, my number is 386-453-5131. That's the company number. And we have regular business hours, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday. And she is very good. I mean, we've been knowing each other for a very long time. And um, she's just the one you want to book, get your, you know, get your artists and your models over here. Um, so I thank you again for tuning in. We'll talk with Caramel. Again, I'm your host, Caramel. Thank you. Bye.